<clears throat> Hello YouTube. Uh, third time for me trying to make this video, so hopefully I can do this as well as I can. Um, so, you got an enclosure, you want to find out how big it is. This goes for fish tanks, reptile tanks, amphibian tanks, abbot cage. It doesn't really matter if you're trying to figure out how many gallons your enclosure is. Because somebody asks how many gallons it is, because they need to know the gallons, because the gallons is apparently the most important thing in the world. I'm going to do another video explaining how gallonage is not important at all, and that it's actually... Uh, different factors as in like uh, square footage for floor space and height depending on the animal that you've picked so anyways uh, let's just hop right into it um, I'm gonna try to make this very very quick very precise um, so the simple math is you take the length in inches of something the width the depth whatever you want to call it Take that number in inches, you multiply it by the first number, and you multiply the height in inches all together. You'll get some big number, most likely. Then you divide it by 231. Once you do that, you'll get the gallon inch. Now, oftentimes, you'll go to a pet store, um, you'll buy a tank, and if you do the math, you'll find out that you actually got less than what you thought you had gotten. Um, but, you know, don't really fret. That's just their numbers. And if somebody's telling you you need a 55-gallon tank for a, um, i trying to think of something, but, uh, like, uh, the minimum size tank for an Oscar is technically a 55, although most people argue it's a 75-gallon tank. I'm not here to talk about Oscars right now, but that is just something worth noting. And for reptiles... I don't know, 55 gallon tank for a um, bearded dragon, maybe. I mean, usually it's a 75 gallon tank. One, once again, it's the minimum recommended for a bearded dragon. But with all that being said, um, you know, it's a little bit smaller, but that's the enclosure size that people mean. Um, so you don't have to worry if you're like freaking out because you're shorted like three gallons on something. It's not a big deal. So, really quickly, I'm going to pull up and I'm actually going to do the math for you so you can see it. Um, and then after that, I will, for those of you who are in Europe, Australia, anywhere that uses the metric system, because you're normal, whereas Americans, we're kind of not normal. I mean, for America, this is pretty normal, but I mean, we're not like everybody else, but different point. I'll do the conversions afterwards. I'll help you out and I'll leave it in the description as well. So you have something so you can work get your math right so you can get this to work. Um, so anyways, uh, I'll not hold you up. So hopefully this isn't too close. Hopefully you can see it. Um, but really quickly, so a 55 gallon tank, that's just a, num a tank that's just sitting in my head. So that's what we're gonna do. So 48 inches is how long a uh, 55 gallon tank is. They're 12 inches wide or deep, whatever you want to call it. And then they are 21 inches tall, right there, okay? The equals, you get 12,096. That's not really relevant. What is relevant is when you divide it by 231, which gives you 52.36 gallons. Of course, Got to consider the thickness of the glass will reduce some of the gallonage in the enclosure as well. But that's, again, not very important. That's if you're trying to find out the exact gallonage of what you have. But then you, know, you got to consider some other factors. So anyways, that's that. Hopefully it helps any of you out in America. Now for those of you who use the metric system, I'm going to give you a little bit extra assistance so you can help out with this. Or you can figure this out for yourself. Um, so, one foot is 12 inches long. And you're typically going to measure things by like centimeters, meters, and millimeters, depending on where you are in the world or, you know, wherever you get your stuff from, I assume. Because I've got a friend who measures stuff in millimeters, and i got friends that measure stuff in centimeters. That being said, that's 30 centimeters for every foot. 
which is for every 12 inches. So 30 centimeters equals 12 inches, okay? And then um, for millimeters, it's just 300 millimeters equals 12 inches. Um, very, very simple math. Um, so once again, I'm gonna leave this in the description so you can figure this out for yourself if you need to. So hopefully you know what size uh, enclosure slash tank you have for whatever it is that you plan on getting or you currently have. And then um, stay tuned for my next video, which is gonna be talking about uh, the importance of square footage for like floor space and uh, height. Um, and why you want one versus the other and so forth. So anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, hope you all have a great day.